you, Mr. Speaker, dear colleagues. My name is Ayo Umidiro, member representing the people of Ayedaadi, Irewole, Ishoko, Federal Constituency. I'm from the state of Oshun. Uh, Mr. Speaker and colleagues, the major reason why I think we should consider this bill and pass it, although what we are seeking is already in the Constitution, is that this bill means no harm. It's just going to highlight what is already provided for in the Constitution, and that is not even so, so apparent to a lot of people. For instance, we all know that victimization and stigmatization of any sort is bad. Nobody has to tell us it's unlawful. We know. However, people still do it. And most of the time, they do it at such a level, communal level, in the society that even if the stigmatized individual wants to go to court, he will be discouraged by the fact that when he goes to court, even if the court says what was done to him is wrong, there is no punishment that will be meted out to the person that has wronged him. So if it's only for that reason, I think we should go ahead pass this bill and uh, meet out punishment to people who, because of somebody's uh, being a, a victim of uh, an unsavory circumstance, is now denied fundamental human rights. However, no matter what we do on this, I will strongly suggest that we think of serious advocacy. We need to let the people know that the fact that somebody has gone through a bad spell does not mean, especially circumstances that are beyond the control of such an individual, it does not mean that that person should become an outcast. It does not mean that that person does not have anything to contribute again to the society at any level. And if we do this advocacy, even the victims will now have courage to demand for their rights. And the society will be more willing to uh, take these people in. So. Uh, Gentlemen and ladies, Mr. Speaker, I want us to please support this bill. And when it gets to the committee stage, we cross the T's and dot the I's. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity.